Hi again guys and welcome to another circuit based setup for Gran Turismo Sport and this time we're going right down to the second lowest class in the game, the N200 category. Now straight off the bat, as with all of my N-Class tunes, this one can be repurposed if you want it to. You could take the power even lower or higher to take it to N300, N400, whatever you want. It's optimized for N200, but you can repurpose it if you want to. And one of the main reasons why I chose to do an N200 tune for this particular car, the Alfa Romeo 4C, is because as soon as I noticed that this was around the N200 class, I immediately suspected that this is probably going to be one of the best, if not the best, N200 car in the game. Now, I haven't actually sat down and compared them all or checked out the community in that regard, but I would not be at all surprised to find out that it is the N200's best car. That wouldn't surprise me at all. Now, as far as what you need to do for the N200 class, I'd recommend having the weight as low as possible, which is basically a level two tune. You could take it to level three, but that's not necessary because that doesn't allow you to take it any lower. As far as power, you want it on 104%, which is literally right at the limit of the N200 category. I've got traction control turned off, but of course that will vary from person to person. We've got it on sport softs, as far as brake balance, we haven't adjusted that. For the suspension, I've got the ride height lowered to 80mm front and rear. Frequency of the suspension, we've got on 2, which is a little bit higher. Anti-roll, I've got on 6, front and rear. Dampers for compression, I've increased all the way up to 65, and I've got them on 92 a piece for the rebound with neutral camber, neutral toe. You can get the tail out a little bit on this car, which isn't too surprising. It is, after all, mid-engine, rear-wheel drive, but at the same time, it's not difficult to drive. However, that is in the N200 category, so I can't say how it will perform if you give it tons and tons more power. So as I said, you need to adjust it accordingly as to what you plan to use it for. As far as the diff, of course my choice in diff settings won't necessarily be for everyone, but I've got the lowest initial torque and then acceleration and braking both on 40. And of course you don't have to go for that, even if you just want to try something else for the sake of it. And that goes for any of the settings then by all means do so, because trial and error is not a bad thing, and if it doesn't work out, you can always just come back to these settings and use them again. As far as the gearbox, of course it's not predominantly a top-end tune, although it is fast in a straight line for an N200 car. We've got the fully customised gearbox with an auto setting of 168, then I've gone for individual gears of 2.5, 1675, 1.3, 1025, 850, and 725 with a final drive of 4.1. And again, that is for the N200 class. Of course, once you start giving it more power, you're going to want to change the gear ratios. And as a general rule, make them a little bit longer if you give it more power. You don't have to, but that's what I'd recommend. So that's it for the tune. Now, to prove what it's actually capable of, let's take it out on a track. Now, as I mentioned just now, being a small mid-engine rear-wheel drive sports car, you can definitely get the tail out. And of course, that will depend on if you have traction control on or not, what tyres you decide to use, all that kind of good stuff. But this is not a difficult car to drive in this level. It's a perfect beginner's car. It's not that cheap, unfortunately, but around the track, its potential is really good. I got it to do a two minute four second lap, now I'm not saying that's the best in the world or anything like that, probably not even close, but that's more on me as a driver than on the car. The car has a huge amount of potential, and to put that into some perspective, that is about six seconds faster than my time in a fully tuned Citroen DS3 in the N300 class. That's a car with roughly 100 horsepower more, which itself isn't exactly heavy. The Citroen is also a very good car, we saw that in the rivals match between the three French hot hatches, but this is easily faster than that in a whole class lower. So it's got a huge amount of potential, and as I said early on in the video, it would not surprise me at all to learn that this was the best N200 car. So if you want to put that down in the comments, if you know it to be true, then yeah, I'd love to hear that, because it wouldn't surprise me. But if you do decide to use this tune for N200 or repurpose it for a different class, I hope of course you have a lot of fun with it. And if you did enjoy it and would like to check out more for other street cars and race cars, then of course you can click through to see those at the end of this video. But for now, as always, thanks for watching.